Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Nerd Mode On, and welcome to Recap, a video series where I'll be going over what has been occurring over the last week and talk with you guys about things that you can be expecting in future episodes. So with that said and done, let's jump right into the episode, shall we? So of course, starting things off on the YouTube side of things, I'm sure you guys have noticed that the amount of videos being uploaded over the last month has been very lackluster in many accounts, and I do apologize about that. I've been pretty busy with work, and I've just been really sick in some aspects, so that kind of adds to the ensuity of not being able to create videos. Videos. Now alongside that information, hopefully I'll be able to utilize my days off to make you guys a lot of videos in advance so that way you guys can at least have and expect some videos to be uploaded on those specified days that require a video to be uploaded. Now when it comes down to the performance of the videos over the last month, I mean they've definitely been fairly good when it comes down to it. We've had some good videos that get a lot of attention, which I really appreciate that you guys took the time to rate the videos and all that kind of stuff. It means a lot to me, especially as a content producer, and in many cases it allows me to know what kind of videos you guys like. So in relation to that, I do appreciate all the support you guys have been giving the videos, and for the most part, they've definitely been doing a lot better than they have been in the last couple of months. So overall, this has been a pretty good month, especially since I haven't been uploading nearly as much as I normally do, but for the most part, definitely been having a lot of good success. Now, transferring over to the gaming side of things, I've definitely been playing quite a bit of Battlefield 4 by itself, but I've also been sprinkling in a little bit of DayZ from time to time when it comes down to the standalone. Been having a little bit of fun there, trying to be more of a hero instead of a shoot-on-sight kind of player. And I guess for the most part, it's been a very enjoyable experience, and I've been really trying to be a little bit more friendly with the community, trying not to shoot them as soon as I see them, and for the most part, it's been working out pretty well. I feel like once I get a gun, my mentality kind of changes, but for the most part, I've been trying to think a little bit more tactically about how I approach situations. Now, of course, unfortunately, I haven't been able to dump the amount of hours that I would like to into the gaming space, but for the most part, I've been still trying to keep a presence in it, trying to still keep up with what's going on, and for the most part, putting in a couple of hours every night to see if I can increase my level in a game, or just try to enjoy the overall experience by itself. And finally, transferring over to the real-life side of the video, considering that I've been very busy, I'm sure many of you guys have noticed with the lackluster amount of videos, but that also allows me to work a lot more hours, get more money for my paychecks, and hopefully dump it into things that I probably don't need, but I end up buying anyway. Now, one of the investments that I jumped into a little bit early without kind of thinking and doing a little bit more research than I probably should have is I purchased a new graphics card. Now, I'm sure many of you guys might be scratching your head to why I did that, considering that I previously had four GTX 680s overclocked by manufacturer. Now, the initial reason for kind of giving up some performance when it comes down to the overall frame rate that the games will occupy when you have a four-way SLI setup in comparison to a single card is mainly due to the fact that they generate so much heat in an SLI. SLI setup. I'm sure many of you guys can imagine how much heat your computer generates by itself, especially when it comes down to the terms of the graphics cards and the overall performance that it occupies. Now having four graphics cards going at once, playing a game like Battlefield 4, which is going to try to utilize every single inch of those graphics cards, really generates a lot of heat, and I'm not really somebody for that much heat. I mean, at the time, it really wasn't a big deal. However, since then, I've decided to go with a single GTX 980 super clocked by manufacturer. Of course, it does have the ACX 2.0 cooling system inside of it so it is a little bit cooler. Now I've noticed that you do have the ability to kind of mess with fan speeds to make it quieter or to even have the fans running at a little bit higher of a clock speed which is also going to generate a little bit more noise but I've noticed that it's really not a big deal when it comes down to making you guys videos or even playing and having people listen to the background noise by itself. Now something else that I want to talk with you guys a little bit about when it comes down to another PC and I talked about this a couple of months ago but I really haven't executed too far on it at the current moment. Hopefully that's going to be changing here in the next couple of weeks. Now one of the things that I have kind of bottling around in my mind is to purchase a whole nother computer that is pretty much better than the current computer I have in terms of the CPU power, RAM, and everything else that comes associated with building a computer. However, this computer will only have two functions that it aims to complete and do in a successful manner, and its main reasons for that is to be able to become a rendering PC that does all the back work when it comes down to YouTube videos. That's all it's going to be designed for, along with streaming if I decide to get back into that, and I've been really wanting to do it over the last couple of months. One of the main reasons I stopped streaming was because I wasn't able to achieve the performance that I thought was a customary for Twitch streamers, and that's unfortunate when it comes down to it. When you have one PC playing a game, rendering, writing and reading files, it definitely leads to a very inconsistent experience. However, with this computer, the way I'm going to have it set up is that it'll do all the back work to that, and I can still play the game at, you know, X amount of frames and not have any dips, while at the same expense trying to give you guys the best overall viewing experience when it comes down to a viewer on that specified site. So that's something that's kind of been dwindling around in my mind over the last couple of months. I've been really wanting to get right into that and start getting it built, but at the moment it's kind of weird when it comes down to the financials of building a $1,200 PC. 
But anyway, guys, that's really all the information I have for you when it comes down to this episode of Recap. And again, I do apologize that I haven't been uploading nearly as much as I promised you guys when it comes down to my channel. I do pride myself on trying to at least get seven videos out a week, but unfortunately, sometimes we're just not able to meet that quota. But anyway, guys, this has been this episode of Recap. I hope you found something in the video entertaining or hopefully it enlightened you into what goes on behind the scenes, especially when it comes to my life. And until the next episode, guys, this has been NMO, and I'm going to be signing out, guys. Peace.